Hey, so I wanted to make this video in order to assist you with manifestation as it has, um, as this information has really shed a lot of light for me on my manifestations and I've reworked a couple of things and it's been really cool. So let's start with thought, okay? When we have a thought, that thought is based off of a perceived reality and it exists within the mind realm, right? The non-tangible, the imagination realm. Okay, all our thoughts are perceived and they are manifested. They are not tangible yet. But when they do become tangible, this is the area that we tend to get fucked up, right? Something may happen, but not the way how we want or whatever. The reason for that is because we are basing our reality in the imagination realm off of the reality that's happening here in the third dimension and we try to impose that and on the thought realm two things really fuck us up time and a plan right time doesn't exist especially not in the thought realm it doesn't match same as planning all of these are constructs of the logical mind. And our societies place importance on this, but it's an illusion. So in order to have a manifestation come into the tangible realm, there has to be a clear channel for it to come through. It's not clear if we try to impose these illusions of time and needing a plan. Instead, it comes through on muddled uh, confusion because it, it doesn't work. So for example, right, I want $50,000. Immediately upon thinking of the $50,000, my logical mind is going to try and fit my current perception of this tangible reality into the imagination realm, which is a different reality but it's going to try to impose this limited tangible reality into this one. So it's going to come up with ways as to how this money is going to come about. I probably have to sue the company, but who wants to do that? I mean, that means something bad has to happen, right? Or maybe I'll win the lottery, but I have to play the lottery then. And I don't have as much belief in the lottery. So that can't happen. All of a sudden, all these limited thoughts happen. And then, right, on top of that, it's going to start thinking, man, I really need this money now. I can't, I can't wait another four fucking years for this shit. Like, I need it now. And so then, all of a sudden, this lack comes through too, right? All these attachments come with needing time and a plan. And so the manifestation, the thought realm, the already perceived reality starts to become distorted. And so when it manifests into this realm, it is not how I want it to manifest. So what I should do instead is work on my internal dialogue, my dialogue between my logical and imagination mind, my higher mind. So then these two realms can meet on the same level and they do that with the gift of opportunity. So this is why sphere of availability is so important because what is in our available sphere is what we are perceiving and experiencing and manifesting within. So it is easier to come about than something so lofty. For example, I work full time and I go to school at night. When I go to school, this is a reality that I am perceiving and choosing to experience. Now, how I choose to experience this is entirely up to the conversation between my logical mind and my higher mind, my imagination mind. They're conversating. So if I go to school and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't wanna be here. This shit's a waste of my time. Then I'm gonna be tired and the experiences I'm gonna have are going to multiply to confirm the thoughts that I'm having, the perceived reality 
that is happening in the thought realm that is coming through the tangible. It's going to start manifesting in that way. But if I go to class and I go, ooh, this is gonna be great today. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna learn how to, I'm gonna learn something that's gonna really help me with my business. And even though I don't know what I'm learning, it's going to be really good. And I appreciate the fact that I'm here anyway because I'm gonna be able to add the things that I learned to my utility belt. There's opportunity here. Ah, when you enlist opportunity as your dominant conversation between the logical and the higher mind, right? Between these two minds, all of a sudden, these awesome manifestations start to come about. Recently, I was in class, right? And we're learning energy work, shiatsu. And I have been doing these face readings, right? As well as learning about Chinese medicine and all of that. I go to class and I'm feeling good because I'm like, man, I'm gonna be able to learn something tonight. I don't know what, but I'm gonna learn something. You know what we talked about? The elements. All of a sudden, my teacher, who had overheard me, right, the previous week, brought in her Chinese medicine textbook that she hadn't shared with other classes and specifically read chapters on how the elements can assist each other and can also degenerate each other. This was all exactly in line with what I've been posting and what I've been talking about and what I've been researching in massage school, right? Opportunity will multiply because I had opened up a clear channel from my perceived reality to come in through my perceived tangible reality. It was a clear channel and therefore these manifestations started to happen instantaneously. This is how you expand your sphere of availability. So if I want $50,000, I need to think just solely of the $50,000 and that it's gonna come. I don't need to attach time or a plan to it. When I do, I limit the possibilities of it. And then that becomes a limiting, tangible manifestation. The manifestation may be that I just always want that then I need it, or it may come about through pain or suffering or something like that. I need to be able to believe that this manifestation will come about the same way that I believe that tonight the clock will strike midnight. Midnight doesn't exist, right? This, this is a calendar system that doesn't exist, but it doesn't need a foundation in order for it to manifest because the belief system that our society has on it is so hardcore that it's constantly looking for that confirmation. I need this same internal dialogue with the thought that I am having, with the manifestation that I wanna bring through. And that takes time to work on, right? So a good way to start training the minds to speak to each other on the same level is to do things that give you enjoyment and that put you in a flow state. If the manifestation is giving you way too much stress because you can't stop thinking about time and the plan of it and how it has to come about, then take your mind off of it. Know that it's gonna happen, but totally distract yourself with something that gives you joy. Because joy or things that put you in the flow state eliminates time and a plan. You ever work on a project and was so engrossed they didn't even realize how much time had passed? That's the state. That is the channel that you need to be in. And joy increases the openness that you will have with opportunities. You become more aware of the positive charges of things, of all the opportunities that will assist you in the project that you're working on and whatever is giving you joy. So I hope this helped and I hope that you are able to um, bring about your manifestations more easily with this knowledge and understanding. Um, 
I know that I am. I know that I'm having a flipping blast with this because I just decided to relate joy to like everything that I do, you know, joy and curiosity. So then the opportunities can just keep popping. And I did that by focusing on my present moment and being content within the present moment. And that is expanding my sphere of availability. So I hope that you're doing the same and that you're able to share positive experiences that you're having or even negative ones that you've been able to learn from. All right, well, that's it. I hope this helped and many blessings on your journeys.